This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Hey, What's guys. What's going on? How you doing? Bless. How are you for me native wearing today? Oh, man. I'm, 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 she got out the mood, though. Please, mm. will you buy lunch for me? Just lunch. Yeah, why not? Come on, man. I tell my she got out Ask for it. Ask me anything. What is wrong with you? Sure, you fuck by me. Where is Iku? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Very well. Okay, our first story for conversation is on Kevin Hart, who is still too hot to attend events. He is keeping a Los Angeles award ceremony as he continues to recover from the shocking September car crash. The comedian and actor and his wife, Eniko Hart, are being honored by the Los Angeles mission for their work with the organization. However, Nick Cannon, who will be hosting the gala nights, will step in for him. Yeah, so I think that's about that. And um, it breaks my heart to know that he's still you not know, very strong. But yeah, we understand it's going to be a process and mm -hmm. he has to prioritize where he goes now. Like if it's not extremely important that he has to be there, then I don't think he needs to stress himself that much. So I think I understand. I think that's the key word, um, priority, mm -hmm. because um, your health is number one. Mm -hmm. So if you're not strong enough or you're not alive to even go around um, attending this event and charity stuff and movie premieres and mm -hmm. all that, then who's going to do it? So it's better you just focus on your health, get better. So you should take all the time you need in the world to mm. get better before it jumps back into the scene. That's how I see it. Mm. Like you guys have said, priority is like the key word there. And I'm happy that he respects his own health. Mm. <laughs> you guys, some people would like to form, um, I can do it. It's just an award. Mm. I don't have to, it's not stressful, but he understands that even taking a step mm -hmm. is stressful at that mm. point that he's right now. I just wish him quick recovery and let him get back to his normal life. It's really not easy. After it you've not. been there and then you just have to take a break, it's not easy. So I hope him, I, I wish him recovery yeah and i had to use the word priority because you know we talked about him being on jumanji's set mm. after this accident so it's a case of do i really need to be there and i remember in that um, news or article it was really stressed that he had to be on the set to make things happen so mm. it's really about priority well like you said wish him um very quick recovery. recovery moving on to the next story i mean this one <laughs> the videos accusers um they've apologized um, they said the video was not intended the way it was taken <laughs> that they did it to um congratulate him in a unique <laughs> way <laughs> so um you know davido vowed that they will at least sleep in jail whether it's one night or two mm -hmm. nights or produce 30 billion era. Mm -hmm. so i think i think they are more remorse now because yeah. the first video i saw where they came out to debunk the the whole funny video was very rude they mm -hmm. even were telling people you black jobless ah, ah. we just posted it and you know i think now they're beginning to understand that this is no longer it's a joke they yeah <laughs> and they, are, they, are, they look quite remorseful but at the same time if i'm the video they need to sleep one night now i feel like yeah i said i don't think you should let it go actually mm -hmm. you should make them at least feel a bit of what they've done mm. they need to be held accountable for this they should, if they say this apology yeah, they think it's just social media they can mm. do something and else pain. another time and, and then they apologize just come and say they want their sorry like the again. next apology we'll be talking about somebody but we'll needs get to be there, made though. the scapegoat mm. because if not another person will do something else and say or that. escape goods like some people write. Mm. <laughs> who wrote that I think we'll be talking about us in there. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, somebody has to be the scapegoat so mm. other people can learn. If mm. not, somebody else will do something like this again and think that after the after old, apology, wow, 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 just come and It might not be sorry. for the video. They might just yeah. pick on another celebrity and then say things that are very hurtful mm -hmm. and feel that, okay, I'll get a level of popularity from this and then after 24 no, because, hours I'll come out and yeah, I really want I really want David to pursue this case. I mean, there are a lot of celebrities that people will come and say wrong things about them and they'll say, okay, I'll see you in court, I'll talk to my and lawyer and there. then we, we're not hearing anything. So mm. that's why people feel that they can keep doing all those things mm. and nothing will happen. I'm talking about not hearing thing. from the lawyers anymore. What's going on between Abraham and Liz and Jerry? Is that um, lawsuit over? <laughs> Astaghfirullah. <laughs> I know it's Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. What did you say? Astaghfirullah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um, on this story, I don't, I don't know what to say to these girls anymore because um, 
I think they here. should stop. No, no, no. It's not. It's not even about the dubs here. I think they need to stop making videos. Mm. If you're really remorseful, make videos sent to his DM. Eh? Let him be the one to post it. Post it. Now, it's like the more you do these things, it's like you just want to stay in the news. Mm. Because if you had come out to from the first um, apology video to mm. say that oh. When we did that, it was to in a unique way, it was a unique apology. Right from the very first day, it broke actually. Hmm. They came out to say, well, oh, it no, was. No, but a according good one. to what they said, they said they posted the first video, which went really viral. Um, and and then and then to... in the morning, they posted the um, debunk. Oh. So apparently, the vi if, if we are going by what they said, the debunk video was there even while. The bloggers were picking up the one that was um, accusing him. I don't know I why I don't believe see it. them. Yeah. Well, I don't. It, I, do you know their hands? Because somebody, I don't even know their hands. Why would I know I their hands? <laughs> That's the point. Because most people that were making that video go go far don't even know. I don't even know their names. But we don't. But like we don't want to on this table. They would just say one million to get their matric number, BVN, Andrews, and we did not also. The, the, uh, what, why are we journalists? Has it, has well, it gotten I, 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 I it see. It got in like five it minutes. The, yeah, man. <laughs> okay. for, uh, uh, with one million. One million. You get, get it in two seconds. You get their home address. <laughs> 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 so, I don't know. Um, I'm really tired of these girls. And like Ewa rightly said, I believe David Osh should still pursue legal action. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, um, what's it called? Or you should just do the Even uh, normal Nigerian illegal legal. Police should just carry them out. Put them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Even if it's like God. they sign an undertaking, mm. yeah, that mm. they will never do. As they make an example out of these people, mm. do you understand? Let people know that there are consequences for certain actions. Mm -hmm. Because the more um, you keep letting things like this go, someone else will come up. The more we we'll have say, more yeah, bad So behavior. let's start having the escape goods. Sorry, I mean escape goods. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But but we'll talk about the escape goods good soon, right? And I mean, this is really important because people need to understand that what you do on social media affects so many people, mm. whether positively or negatively. So you cannot just because you can afford a cheap Android phone and data and you think you can just do anything. And you know it's Android, they are rich sisters. <sighs> In their video, Whatever. they said it again, but they don't have Pro. anything. They don't have, oh, they the put it again. Video. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah. did, did you see in the apology video when they said, hey, what, what do we have? I can want to tarnish somebody's image, image. somebody that already has the image. Already image. Already has image. image. <laughs> so please, which person's image do they tell you? Somebody that doesn't have image. <laughs> they, they, they don't understand what they don't, they don't understand it, that they are just really <laughs> local right, they, sisters. They need to understand. Mm. All right, it's time for a quick break. When we return, I have a very strong feeling that with these two, there will be serious drama. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. Our next story is on actress Charity Naji, who continued to mock um, um, Momfa. Um, she was saying it's better to be a beggar than a fraudster. So I think they had history. I don't know what happened. Mm. I, I couldn't find it, but um, she she um, sent him a DM mm. on Instagram. She Bless me, sir. Me. Bless me, sir. And then so did, reply, did she <clears throat> use her? No, no, no. That's the problem. That's that's what did she call it now? NGO. Her NGO page. Nope. It was her personal page. Yes. Even okay. if even if an NGO page wants to ask for assistance, do they say bless me, me sir? Mm. And then if the person does not reply, you reply the person against stingy goats. Oh, wow. So I that was what happened. That was what happened. Mm. And then I think um, well, at that point that everybody thinks that they have to do something really crazy to trend on social media. Mm. Because I don't know why a full-grown woman that 
in according to us businesses that she's managing mm -hmm. will go to the front of EFCC. We didn't even see you inside. And then she saw they always need to say I'm busy making money. I'm busy making money. When it's time to <laughs> respond to the rubbish you've done, you are not busy making money. When you are posting it, you are not busy at that time making money. When you were begging him for money, bless me, sir. You were not that means if you're giving you that money then mm. you will not come out now to say it's a first step. No, yeah, she's NGO apologizing wants. though and I think um, before if uh, I Wait. hope you're not shredding her pants. <laughs> um, let's have a <laughs> quick look at that video. Hello Nigerians, good evening to you all. Um, my main reason of doing this video this evening is to apologize to you all, especially friends and well wishers of Mofe and his family. What I did yesterday wasn't intentional, but I just felt that's the only way I will pay him for what he did to me last year. From the depth of my heart, I just want to ask for forgiveness. Please forgive me. And I promise from now henceforth, I will delete everything that has to do with him on my page. We are all human. Honestly, if I tell you I'm happy of what he's passing through, I'm a liar. I also have conscience. Please forgive me in a promise. I also have conscience. Did they give them scripts? All and I'm I saying is, and this is what I was relating back. I'm saying yeah. apology should not just end yeah. all these things. You need to pay for what you but her own. I'm I'm kind of not very. I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm still yeah. on it, but I, mean, I, I think I she went too far. With, um, people apologizing. Why are you apologizing to us? Hmm. I mean, you've not done anything wrong to us. Mm. What if she has been threatened? This is a well-connected man. By who? By who? Yeah. This is a well-connected man, so I'm not, I'm not insinuating anything. Well, of course, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's fans, possible. You understand? So yeah. what if she has been threatened, and this apology is not even coming from a place of mm. um, remorse? It's a, coming from a place of okay. Now I have I to. I think your tea might spill. I have to look after. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to look after myself, and I have mm. to make sure that I, um, I'm alive. You get because. Um, even though what she did was um, totally irrelevant, but um, there's a message in it. Mm. And there's a message we should all take away from that, mm -hmm. which is um, the fact that being a front star is not something that is acceptable. Mm -hmm. And if you want to live a lavish lifestyle and you know that your means of livelihood is not pure, then I don't think you should now bring it on social media and be flaunting it in our faces. So I'm not against Monfa, I'm just against all the other front stars out there mm -hmm. that flaunt their lavish lifestyle and they'll still be the ones doing the motivational speaking and all of that. Mm -hmm. But in our own case too, yeah, if you are begging somebody and then you still think you can attack them because they did not grant your wish. So then, if he had given you the money, then, then yeah, that's you would have yeah, So yeah. that's what I'm saying, that there's a message mm. to take away from this, mm. regardless of whichever way she went about it. Mm -hmm. But she had a strong message. Could and I like just put Ewa it would say, she, do, she doesn't have the credibility. I mean, I'm telling you. Based on the fact that she's a beggar? Based on the fact that she went to beg him, and when he did not give her the money, that's she why started, she's angry. that's why she's angry. It's not like she, she said... Well, I think he also shaded her. I think he posted their DMs or something, and he spoke about her that she was begging him for money and all that. So And I think, felt... I, I feel like, um, because there were other messages that I didn't see, but I think she's somebody that has been text, trying to reach him, reach him, reach him. For and him. and yeah, I think yeah, he, he posted their DM, he posted their conversation that, okay, Ooh. this person is begging me. So she felt insulted by that, and she feels that, okay, this is payback time. Now I mean, if I, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what... Um, it's still um, alleged, mm -hmm. alleged, allegedly imprisoned for um, internet fraud. Internet fraud, but they claim that the breed the change. He as at then, we feel like it was a businessman, yeah. And why would you tell a businessman because he's not responding to you that he's a stingy goat? I can post that chat too. Like, okay, you want to go petty, mm. so can play the game. Mm. The fact that I'm not replying your messages or I'm not answering you doesn't give you the right to reply me and tell me I'm a stingy Well, girl. fraud is wrong. That's the bottom line. Mm. That's just the bottom line. And don't only call out fraud when you're not eating mm. from it. Yeah, let's exactly. just understand so that let's fraud, just know that fraud is, wrong, is wrong and, it and is it's wrong. a heel to the society. And, and to fraudsters, please, I, I still cannot wrap my head around the idea of knowing that your source of income is not legit 
and you just want to flaunt on social media. Lifestyle. Maybe you would need to tell us the new, you know, but I don't understand it. Until then... It really makes no <laughs> sense. Like, yeah, so let's move on to the next story, though. Um, women cheat more than men. This is coming from rapper Slim Thug. Um, let's have a look at the video. I don't know why your drum is rolling, but please, the oh, video... Oh, I thought we had a guest. <laughs> <laughs> women cheat more than males cheat. Women cheat all of the time. Women flirt. They uh on Instagram, on social media, Facebook, whatever, uh, at work, whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? You expect a dude who is heterosexual to look at you and not like you, not try to f you, not try to whatever. Like it's all y'all fuck. Women cheat more than males cheat. <sighs> okay, so I think the video is not complete. Or maybe he had a caption. I'm not very sure. Mm. But um, from the transcripted one I saw, he was basically blaming women for men cheating, mm. saying it is not their fault. That no. um, yes, yeah. that no. they look. That's that because of what um, what you're wearing and putting everywhere. Media, that, that do you expect a guy to see all that and not yeah. want to have anything to do with you? Mm. So first and foremost, let's establish the fact that he's doing he's what you could have been. No, it's not. No, no. I think you guys are. You want to get the message from your point of view. Okay, so women are affected, when right? so no, no, no. When someone says that, guys, I make a video and I say this is what he said mm. that. It is not our fault that we cheat. Mm. It is the fault of these women for putting out their bodies and all that online. That how can you see that as a man and not want to have anything mm. to do with them? So what is he saying? Okay, I'm not going to get into this um, argument, but I'm just going to say that um, I get where it's coming from, especially where is coming from? with this um, new age of social media where we see a lot of um the ones we popularly call slay queens and slay mamas mm -hmm. right now on Instagram and social media. Expo being almost half naked, they mm -hmm. call Instagram soft porn these mm -hmm. days because sometimes you see a lot of people um, twerking, almost half naked and all of that. So, and these are uh, women, even there's this um, popular twerker that just got engaged. Um, what's her name again? Jemima. Yeah, something J something. Mm -hmm. She just got engaged, but... That's a different ball game. What about those ones that are just doing those things to be able to get people to slide in their DMs? Mm -hmm. Now, that's digressing from the subject matter. The subject matter is do <laughs> women actually cheat more than men? That is not the subject no, matter. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let, let's, okay, I, I okay. agree. That's the subject matter. Continue. Continue. I, it's a question. Do women really cheat more than men? Are you asking me? Yes, now it's for you no. to answer. No. How about you? Hmm. I'm not sure anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> I like you. I'm not shaking you because no, we are not I, on I the really, same page. I have, no, no, we are I not on the same page. No, 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 okay. okay, I really just appreciate your honesty that mm -hmm. you say you're not sure mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's and, amazing. Yeah, for me, I'm sure. You're I'm sure that women do not cheat more than men. Mm. Yeah. I think the difference in this case is that women don't flaunt their cheating. No, I think the difference... Women don't get caught. No, 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 it's not about being caught. Wait, my point women is don't never flaunt get caught. If, if you're saying women never get caught, so how come you know that they're cheating? Mm -hmm. Because you, that's my problem with you guys. You only know how we know that. Do you, okay, do you really want me to go uh, um, into details? Yes, okay, this yes. Is how I told you know, guys there will be drama. This is how <laughs> we know they are cheating. Okay. I have been with other men's girlfriends, mm -hmm. and their boyfriends are calling them while we are doing whatever, or mm. we're saying whatever, or we're eating whatever, or mm. we're... And they pick the call like, oh, you have a term, and they're like, yes! It has happened. Is what, I'm, tell, I'm not this, telling you, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you, like, just three cases. I can give you, I can call out, I can... I can call out seven to eight different girls. Should I start calling out men that cheat too? No, I'm just telling you that. So don't let us make it look like it's it's a man's thing. No, but these girls are not loyal too. So no, no, she's trying to make it look like, so no, no, it look like, it look like no, no. it's a women thing. No, no, it's okay. Okay. nobody's trying let's to make it look like it's a two-way traffic. Let's calm down. Okay. You see this? I'm, I'm not going to behave like bloggers or yeah, let me call them bloggers that try to pick out. A sentence or what it I mean in a headline anyway you cannot put everything he said in the headline they just mm -hmm. pick the parts that will attract you so on this table what we try to do is look at what he said in context from what he said from the beginning to the end and then understand where he's coming from 
But I don't like that we are focusing on did men cheat and blah, blah, blah. Because this guy came out categorically to say that men cheat Cheats. because mm -hmm. women put stuff online for them to see. And I'm wondering, there are men with cis packs all over um, man, um, social media. There are boys. so many men that I like. I love how they look. I like how... So if I'm in a relationship and I'm going through my timeline and seeing the cis pack, I'm seeing the guy nicely dressed, I'm supposed to slide into his DM and have something to do with him because... No, because in this part of the world... men are not disciplined. In this part of you the world, you cannot will not slide into your behavior. And you're saying that you can't keep your eyes off it, then you're not disciplined. Okay. I rest my case. Well, I think you have to. It's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we have just one more story for you. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is from mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. Our final story on this episode is on an 18-year-old Russian teen who commits suicide um, on live broadcast after watching Joker. He shot himself in the head in a very disturbing video after making reference to a scene in the movie. So I know we mentioned Joker on Wednesday. Yeah, right? so I'm going uh, to just let you guys talk about the story because you guys have seen Joker. So um, is it capable you're of to see, right? he commits suicide? I'm not very sure because, I mean, I read reactions on the story and there was one that was very profound. The person said that this whole mental health issue is becoming alarming, very confusing. Now, it's not even just for we that we would say we are not psychologists. Even those that are psychologists, those that are actively in this space are telling you that they don't Understand. understand it anymore like it takes different turns so mm. it is possible for this to trigger someone mm. i mean it's the story is really centered around mental mm. health and also some people are also saying it depicts the idea of people just waking up in different countries mass and sh mass shooting and all that but i think what i want to say on this story and to rest my case is the way we have uh, movies being rated for sexuality for nudity for all that i think it has gotten to that point where movies should be rated for mental, mental health. health. Like, <laughs> you have to have a certain level of mental health. Like, let there be that disclaimer before you watch it. I, I think that's the way to go now because I saw it. I understood that this is very deep. I understood that they were trying to depict a lot. Like, you have to be on a certain level to understand mm. it. I know I was talking to a friend, and I said that this movie, even in this part of the world, our own mental health understanding have not even gotten close to this point at all, mm. right? Mm. So I think that we should get to that point where they rate movies based on your mental health capacity. That's mm. all I have to say. <clears throat> I saw, I've seen the movie, and your question, yes, I think the movie can actually trigger um, someone trying to commit suicide because... Mm. If, you, if you're experiencing what the guy was experiencing in the movie, you can feel like at the end of the day, killing yourself will give you freedom. Mm -hmm. Do you get? So it's possible that the guy saw the movie and it triggered um, him committing suicide. Mm. But I want to borrow um, Breaking Spears words. It says something that you're an adult. That's why this movie is rated 18. Mm -hmm. Do you get? You're an adult. This is a movie. It's pretend. It's not real. People need to understand that before they see, um, see some movies. If you know you can't watch that kind of movie, just you don't have to. Mm. It's not compulsory. I don't know if you understand where I'm I coming get what from. You're saying. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I, I, it's going to be a very bad market for this, um, the maker of the movie because mm -hmm. I feel like people are already advocating for them to take the movie down from mm. the cinema and all. But there are other lessons in that movie. A lot. A lot of good lessons in that movie that ch touch um, about the society, about parents. About how they don't pay attention to people with mental health issues. Mm. Even um, at some mm. point, you got to realize, this is my own understanding, you can understand it differently, mm. but I got to realize that 
he had the, he had a disorder which uh, makes him laugh, laugh when he's, he's not able to, to laugh. So he laughs, he laughs, and he cannot stop himself from laughing. So his mom thought that he was happy. a happy child. Mm -hmm. So you're doing something really horrible to him and he's just laughing. Like you're beating him and he's laughing. And it, it took a long time for him to finally get help and be mm. diagnosed. But all the while growing up and all that, he was tied to, he was really maltreated. But while going through this maltreatment, uh, um, he was just laughing. Mm. And the mom just believed that he was, he was a happy child. child. And, and the mom also has mental health issues also mm. where she imagined things that, that, that were not real. Like it's a very, very deep, deep broad movie. Movie. And it got to a point where he was getting help from um, a free medical center. Mm. Then the government had to close it down. And yeah. then he stopped getting his drugs. The medications. And so that was when he started really re acting, acting out up. his mind. Mm. Do you get, so there are other lessons to pick up in that movie. That's why I said I feel like Everybody needs to understand that it's not real. Mm. It's just a movie. Yeah. It's just a story that is probably that probably never happened. So yeah. It's not real. Yeah. It's possible it also happened, but not mm. in this not exaggerated this, yeah. manner, right? And like you said, the cutting of funds. There are so many people that need this drug, they cannot afford it, mm. and that happened. And when they don't get their drugs, they they can act very rational. So. It's, it's sad, I'm um, um, RIP to this guy, but... Yeah, it was um, a very horrible video. I just hope watch. that, um, he's, he's yet to watch it, but I just hope that... No, um, like the, the boys' censors, video. No, I haven't watched it, I can't I watch it. that. No. <laughs> the censors really and board across the globe to has to take that into consideration. Just kindly send the link after the show. All right. All right. Okay, and I think we're ending the show on a sad note, but that's how <laughs> I wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and remember... Um, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shukai. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.